Hello, are we live? Uh, let me check here. Give everyone a second. I didn't. I did say I was going to come on at one, so let me just give one quick second and uh, double check here and make sure we're live. Uh, hello, everyone. If you are here, anyone who is here, um, let me just check. Okay. Hello. It's me, Denise Voigt, functional medicine nutritionist, and I am jumping on here live so that we can talk about omega-3s. So this month in Autism Parenting Magazine, I published an article on the benefits of omega-3s. So hopefully uh, you'll check that out. I know that if you don't have a subscription, they do allow you to get uh, one free uh, magazine. So I think you should go check it out at uh, www.autismparentingmagazine.com. Uh, this month in particular, there's an article in there on the benefits of omega-3s that I wrote. I also published a similar article on my blog. Um, so after this, if you want more information, you can jump in there and check it out. But I, I'm coming on here live because I know people have questions. Um, and sometimes, you know, people don't like to read blogs. They'd rather just hear it straight from the horse's mouth. So here I am. Um, and so there's a few things that I really want to get across. Omega-3s are essential. So what that means, actually, essential means that you must provide those nutrients from food. The body cannot make it itself. So we, we absolutely need to get in an essential um, nutrients like omega-3s. And omega-3s, there's, there's three kinds. We've got ALA, and then we have EPA and DHA. And we most of the time we hear more about the EPA and DHA because they're crucial to brain function and development. But ALA is the form found in plants. And EPA and DHA are found typically in oily fish um, and algae and um, sardines, those kind of things. But the ALA that's found in plants can actually be transformed into DHA, EPA in the body, but at a very small rate. So we really still want to get in those um, oily fish or fish oils um, or the like. So um, I wrote down a couple of things here just to make sure that I cover. Um, so the ALA, so the, the thing to point out about the ALA in plants, so they're found in things like green leafy vegetables, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and flax seeds. Okay, so um, if you're vegetarian, you don't eat fish, you can get EPA, or I'm sorry, you can get ALA that can then be transitioned to EPA in the body, but at a very small rate. So um, that's when we'll, we'll talk about how we can supplement possibly. Um, and so the other thing to point out, uh, cod liver oil also has a high level of EPA. And cod liver oil also has the added benefit of a high level of vitamin A. So we really, we really like cod liver oil for our EPA as well. So let's talk about the benefits of EPA. So um, EPA and DHA are crucial for brain function and development. And um, I have a couple of studies here to point out. And anything that I reference here is either in the blog article or in the article in in, um, the Autism Parenting Magazine. So you can look up those references or you can always direct message me if you want um, the link to the research or the study that I'm referencing. Um, and so one thing I wanted to point out is one study that caught my attention that involved a three-month omega-3 supplementation for a group of children with behavior, psychosocial, and learning difficulties. In that three-month time, the study demonstrated improvements in spelling, reading, and behavior. Um, and after they consistently took the supplement for uh, the three month period. So that goes to show you, so not only is uh, omega-3s essential for development and growth, but we also see improvements when we can supplement or upregulate by taking in more EPA. Um, some of us have a hard time getting in fish, maybe because we don't like the taste of fish or we don't like to cook fish and some of our picky eaters are um, very sensitive and they don't want to eat fish. So sometimes supplementing may be necessary, um, but going without is just not an option because it's crucial to our brain development and health um, and behaviors can be improved. We've seen reduction in hyperactivity. Um, and, and you, just like this study um, where they showed, uh, they even showed improvements in spelling, for goodness sakes. Um, another study I, I can reference here um, showed that low levels of omega-3s can cause insufficient amount of dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter in our brain. And it appears uh, to be linked with a higher incidence of psychiatric characteristics like restlessness, hyperactivity, psychosocial problems, and disorders. Um, so once again, when we don't get enough of these omega-3s, we can start seeing you know, side effects that we don't want to see. So not only can we improve some of these symptoms by upregulating and, and giving ourselves some extra, we can also you know, see uh, bad side effects if we don't get enough. So 
Um, another, another study points out that um, maternal supplementation, so pregnant, if you're pregnant, uh, supplementing with fish oils or DHA alone during the third trimester or while breastfeeding can improve cognitive development in their newborns. They can improve their newborn sleep patterns, which is a measure of brain development, um, and even increase IQ scores, which was measured at age four. So again, um, all these benefits, we, we hear a lot out, I guess, in the world, we hear a lot of uh, benefits of omega-3 and fish oil supplements for cardiovascular health. Um, but recently, we're seeing more and more studies and research showing that it really helps with mental and cognitive improvements and function. So it's something that I really highly recommend, uh, making sure you get in either enough fish oil or take in um, a, a supplement. So uh, let's see, what else did I want to, oh, I get asked all the time, like how much, how much is enough? It really does depend. And I, I typically like to tell people, it depends on weight. You know, if you think about, you know, your child is just a little and only weighs maybe 30, 40, 50 pounds, an adult, you know, weighs 100 and something pounds. So um, one of the, the sources I like to reference is uh, from ASU in their autism research program. They they came out with a study that showed anywhere from 600 to 1800 milligrams for about a 60 pound child uh, was effective and parents reported, uh, 50, 59% of them reported improvements in that dose range um, in their child's symptoms. So if that gives you any idea, I think that's you know, standard somewhere in that realm. I know it's a big range, but it's one of those things, you know, you take a little bit and slowly increase. I always tell everyone start, start at a small dose and then slowly increase. So if you're not getting it from foods, um, so foods that are high in uh, fish oil, so mackerel, tuna, and I know a lot of people are going to ask me about uh, the mercury levels. And yes, it, fish, some fish, larger fish, swordfish, uh, tuna, they do have uh, levels of mercury. So you want to be mindful of that. You don't want to get too much mercury. So um, the smaller the fish, the less the mercury. So those larger fish, uh, like swordfish, tend to have a lot of, and tile fish, tend to have high levels of mercury. So you have to be careful. We know some of our kiddos on the spectrum have a hard time detoxifying, especially heavy metals. So getting in too much extra mercury is not a good thing. Um, so once again, we sometimes have to supplement. And before I start talking about supplementation, I do want to point out, like I always do, is that supplements are meant to supplement the diet, right? We want to start with nutrients from nutrition and food first um, and then supplement where we need to to help upregulate the system because it's always better to you know upregulate the body's ability to do what it's supposed to do with nutrients rather than prescriptions I'm a big fan of that so I am a big proponent of supplements and supplementing our food but I really want you to focus on trying to understand how food is processed in the body. Now, some of us have a hard time transitioning. Um, so the ALA to the EPA, it can be difficult for some, for some kiddos. So um, just getting the plant form of uh, omega-3s might not be enough. So we want to supplement. So of course, um, we formulated with My Spectrum Heroes. We have it in a liquid. We also have it in a, a, a pill form. And a lot of people ask me what the size of the pill form is, so I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, they're kind of large. Uh, this is why I think a lot of people are hesitant to uh, take the pills, but um, that, that's the size of them. And our liquid, I get asked all the time, you know, how does it smell? How does it taste? And to be honest, it has a slight, uh, it has mango essence in there. So it has like a slight mango kind of uh, smell. It doesn't smell fishy. Um, and it's, it's so highly concentrated, you only have to use a very little. So um, it can be easily hidden in drinks and, and such. And one of the, the benefits um, to our supplement is that it's really high quality. Like we don't mess around. We get a certificate of analysis for all of our formulas. And so this right here, um, they give us a printout and it shows us exactly how much of everything was in there and what is not in there, which is more importantly. So um, you probably can't see it here, but it shows right there. There's the mercury. Here's the test. Here's what's allowable, which is kind of scary that it is allowable. Um, but ours is well below that. And so we have a big, nice, big pass is what it says there in our certificate of analysis. Analysis. And it goes down the line. The other things it tests for is bacterial and other heavy metals and all these things. And, and when we get this print out every time, because it's really important to us that we don't add extra toxicants to our, our kids um, that we're trying to, to make healthier, right? So whenever you're shopping for supplements, you want to make sure that you're getting the highest quality, best forms of those formulas. And you want to make sure that they can provide you with this kind of evidence that there isn't any extra addit additives or um, toxicants in there. Uh, the other thing that we have that comes with it is the dosage recommendation. So if you're curious how much you're 
child should take. It's dose dependent and you'll get one of these little cards with your order as well. So um, one of the uh, questions that I get asked all the time is how, how do I get my child to take it if, if they don't like the taste, or they don't like the flavor. Most of our products are easily hidden in uh, drinks or food. This one can easily be put in just about anything because you only need a very small amount. I put it in my smoothie every day. It's a no-brainer. It's easy. Um, and that goes for all of you, mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, cousin. Uh, EPA, fish oil is good for all of us, not just our kiddos um, on the spectrum with ADHD. And yes, it can help improve symptoms and behaviors, but why not improve your whole family's health, right? So putting it in anyone's uh, drink, put it in it in your spaghetti sauce tonight when you have dinner. Easy, right? Simple. Uh, if there's any questions, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your, you're welcome for the information. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can figure this out. If there's a way for me to see how, yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay, so one question uh, I get asked about again is the mercury. And like I said, um, our products have um, way below the allowable level of mercury, but you will want to be careful. Some some products on the market are just simply junk and they um, they say that they're fish oil and who knows where they're sourced from and if they're tested and wh how much concentration of EPA and DHA. And, you know, it's, it's kind of a scary place out there, the supplement world. So again, I really want you to look at getting it from Whole Foods first uh, and then supplement where you need to. If your child is not getting in uh, oily fish, then I highly recommend supplementing. Omega-3s are uh, very beneficial to cognitive function, brain development. We know our kiddos are, are growing at a rapid rate when they're young. Their brain and nervous system is developing rapidly. And if they're not getting the building blocks they need, um, we're going to see deficits. And there's always a, a downhill side effect of that. So I'm a big fan of omega-3s. If you have any questions, please reach out. Send me a direct message. Send me an email. Go to Autism Parenting Magazine. Read the article. It's amazing. There's tons of resources. Go to denisevoigt.com. Com. Go to the blog article. There's tons of references there. Um, there will not be a lack of information for you. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.